relevant research. This article came out of the Journal of the American Medical Association in January of 2003 by Dr. Rao. And the title of it is, Does This Patient Have Parkinson's Disease? And I really appreciate this meta-analysis that looked at likelihood ratios for symptoms of Parkinson's disease as real, true indicators of the disease. And again, this, they, they don't formally call this a clinical prediction rule, but I think this is great for therapists to know. These are the things we really need to look at. These are the ones that are important. These are the, the symptoms that are, are really salient and the tests that I think will get the most information out of. So under symptoms, the three big ones, tremor, rigidity, and bradykinesia, all right? And then the more minor ones are microphasia, the writing smaller, the shuffling gait, and the difficulty that our patients have when they turn in bed. Uh, finally, functionally, difficulty opening jars or getting up from a chair, a classic patient that goes to get up out of the chair and then falls back into the chair. And finally, tests that's, that appear to be the most relevant are the glabella test. And with the, glabe the glabella test, what you will do is you'll tap right above the person's eyes. Now be careful, don't get so close to the eyes because then they'll, they'll be afraid you're poking them in the eye. But it's right in between the two eyes, uh, just above the eyebrow level. And what you tell them to do is to try to suppress the blink all right, to try not to blink. And you tap them, and normally you may blink a couple times, but with somebody who has Parkinson's, they can't stop it. Every time you tap, they're gonna blink. The other test that's very important is the heel-toe test. And what you'll have your patient do is stand up and try and walk one foot in front of the other, all right? And they won't be able to do that. Uh, as they do that particular task, they may not be able to get even get into the position. They should be able to take 10 steps without making a mistake, and they can't. There's the research. Use it.